Hi, my name is Alyssa and I draw lots of Animal Crossing characters. In an effort to draw every single Animal Crossing character, I'm continuing this week's A to Z speed paint series with the letter J. Like I mentioned last week, I'm wearing sweaters for last week's video, this week's video, and next week's video. I'm filming all back to back before I go visit my family uh, in December for Christmas. And in the spirit of Christmas, even though I live in Los Angeles, I'm wearing sweaters and they're getting increasingly weirder every week. So next week's will be the ultimate weird sweater that I can't wait to show off because I love it. I really love this one. I love the sleeves. I love the green. I'm a big fan of this sweater. So I'm happy I get to show it off for a video even if I am kind of like overheating in my own house And because I'm filming these back-to-back H-I-J and K all back-to-back -back, I don't have a whole lot new to say so let's just get right into the sketches Starting off the J names is Jacob and I really like this bird's color schemes if anybody knows me and you can probably tell from the branding on my channel I love primary colors in green like red yellow blue green That's kind of the vibe I've been into for the last like year and a half or so I just really love parrot colors and really bright you know, in your face primary colors like this. So I was really drawn to this particular character and I like his really cutesy, simplistic little dot eyes with the huge eyebrows. I think he's really funny looking. So I hope I, I hope I did him justice with this. And this will be kind of a shorter video just because there's not a ton of J villagers, but I did want them to have their own video or else the K video would have been like 25 minutes long if I made it J and K. So hopefully this is a good pace for this. Now Jacques I think is really fun because I've mentioned several times I love when the villagers have built in accessories for this since I'm not giving them props or accessories to dress them up with. I'm just going based on what they would look like in the game if you were to have them in your town like the default settings. Though he has a built in little beanie hat which is great so I got to dress him up and it kind of suits the like it, I know it says he's smug and I kind of made him he's almost like a smug hipster type like he's he's lecturing you about his favorite band that you've never heard of or something I kind of wanted that vibe going for him so the little beanie on him works really really well now Jambet is one of these villagers that I think a lot of people is like more unfortunate looking though I don't mind the like big pink lips I think she it makes her look a little uh, more fashionable sassy whatever so I gave her the same uh, big plump lips but I did change the shape to make it a little more cutesy cartoony and hopefully a little more flirty looking so hopefully I did her justice by messing with the proportions of her face and lips like that. Um, Jay is really cute too, and I think he's one of my favorite uh, little birds. There's like the birds and then there's the eagles. But I really like the colors of him again because I'm really drawn to like bright primary colors. And he's got that hot red on his head and the blue and he's wearing green. So I'm really drawn to his overall color scheme. Though I forget if Jock has like the right color scheme for him. I'll, I'll see when I get to the coloring phase at the end. But if I could eyedropper his exact colors, it would be like right up my alley color wise. I love the red, yellow, blue, green he's got going on. Jeremiah is really cute and I love when the villagers have like weird mouth shapes. I just think they're more fun to draw and they're interesting instead of like there's nothing wrong with a nice pleasant smile but it's always fun when they do something interesting with the mouth shapes the eyebrow shapes on these characters it gives them a little bit more personality built into their actual character model rather than just their dialogue because quite frankly the dialogue hasn't been as good since the gamecube days so the more personality we can get in the character design the better the more that we can imagine what kind of character this is just based on how they look even if their dialogue is copied and pasted from 20 other villagers that you've met you know uh, Joe is one of these villagers that I've never had in a town before and most likely you haven't either because not only was he only in Animal Forest E+, which I believe was the Japanese only Nintendo 64 release of Animal Crossing, correct me if I'm wrong there, but I think it was the Jap Japanese only release, but also you needed an e-reader to like move him into your town, so a m vast majority of Animal Crossing players have never had that villager in their town, which I think is a shame because I think it's a really cool design, hence why I picked him for the uh, thumbnail. <laughs> Uh, anyway, Joey, I really thought was a fun one to do because I wanted to do this like innocent baby rubber duck kind of look, but he also looks a little bit unsettling. So I hope I hit the right balance with like his kind of weird proportions that I gave him. So Jubi, Jube, not sure, but I would assume based on the reference picture that he's only uh, from Animal Forest E plus or the GameCube version or something because uh, the reference images, they update. So if he had a new leaf model or something like that, they would have put the nice new new leaf reference image there. So I'm assuming he's only from like the super old games because I have never heard of him uh, at all either. And even though his personality type is cranky, I wanted to give him almost like a proud smug kind of like look and pose. Now Julia, very pretty bird that she is, I definitely had her in my New Leaf Town Philly before I like demolished it and made it Pacifica, which was my last New Leaf Town that's now covered in weeds and abandoned, but I definitely had her as a neighbor at one point because I really like her eye style. It's very like, you know, Sailor Moon anime style eyes, but it suits her head shape and it doesn't look awkward and creepy like uh, Chrissy the bunny that I think is like the creepiest looking villager in the game with the super 
black beady eyes with the like the eyes are too big for the head but in Julia's case her eyes look really proportionate to her head and very sweet and very innocent and I really like how she looks so I was trying to mimic the reference pose here where it almost looks like she's very like like thanks thank you so much like very grateful for something or thanking someone or you know very innocent kind of pose like that with one leg kicked up I really like the reference pose that was in the image so I just worked off of that when drawing my own version of her I wanted to do her justice because I always thought she was really cute and June too I always thought June was cute again with the built-in accessories love the flower in her hair and for once a villager whose outfit actually matches like the the little shirt she's wearing with the flower on it perfectly matches the dark border on it matches her dark hair and the flower is red like the flower like it's perfect so more of this with the default uh, villager outfits please I know we'll be able to change them in New Horizons but it would be nice if we didn't have to fix everyone's fashion mistakes for once wouldn't that be great um, so yeah, here I am adding the flat colors as I always do, not paying any mind to if it goes in the lines or not because I'm going to clean it up in the next phase before I do final artwork. So just slapping those colors down based on the color palettes I have for each personality type at the top of the screen. Joe I ended up really liking. I think Joe looks really cool. Like very like the emo kid in the school kind of cool with the hair over the one eye. So yeah, I definitely had to use him for the thumbnail for this as well. So, so yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed and this has been all the J name villagers. So that's it for the J-Name Villagers. Who's your favorite or least favorite J-Name Villager? I was really surprised by how much I really liked drawing the design of Joe. Like that's a character I'd never heard of in my life before, such a rare character. And if you're Christmas shopping this time of year like I am, uh, be sure to check out the Redbubble link in the description below. I have print stickers, tote bags, and more of every single Animal Crossing character that I've drawn so far. It's 100 plus at this point and I add nine new ones every single week. This time next year, I'll have every single Villager for sale, but I can't work that fast this year. So be sure to check that out if you're looking for a perfect Christmas gift for an Animal Crossing fan in your life. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a fantastic rest of your day.